Welcome to another day in Japan! <laughs> tip for you to save a little bit of yen. <laughs> we have left behind the busy streets of Osaka and traveled to the nearby region of Koya. We're in the mountains. It is beautiful here. This area is known for a lot of temples that we're going to tell you about later. We are only here for about 24 hours. We are at the west end of Koya in front of the biggest gate I've ever seen. It's also the first gate I've ever seen. <laughs> It is beautiful, it's enormous, it's gorgeous. Wow, I can't even believe it. So the first of the two outdoor things that we want to do today is a nearby hike before we head into town to try to locate the largest rock garden in all of Japan. Those are our two tasks for today before we do our indoor stuff tomorrow, so let's go find a hike. Now that we're actually in a forest, let me just say for a moment, something that has surprised me about Japan is how many mosquitoes there are. <laughs> I have at least a dozen mosquito bites. Bill has one. <laughs> and uh, I've been wearing bug, bug dope. I just was not expecting that. Nobody said when you're going to Japan, beware of all the mosquitoes. So you heard it here. There's mosquitoes here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So our walk today is just a short one. We are in search of some of these gates. We found three, but I think there's more of them up ahead. Look at the view from up here. Wow. It is only the very beginning of autumn when we're here. Well, we found some more. These were not very far from the giant gate at all. You just have to go sort of up a steep hillside. And it's kind of fun to see this first one, which is not red, followed by the red one behind it. That's really cool. It would be really nice if it doesn't rain tomorrow so that we could do some proper hiking in this area. One of you correctly guessed that we planned to do some hiking in Japan. This is one of the places where we had planned on doing it, but rain might chase our dreams away. saw the gates. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> I admit that was a little bit shorter than I was expecting, but we got what we came for, so I guess uh, it's off to find the rock garden, maybe. <laughs> this still worth coming out for. The main first gate was fantastic. We're going to take this as an opportunity to walk back into town. Also, the bus <laughs> does not come for another half hour, so we'll walk. A couple of reasons. Okay, so if you're watching this and you're from Japan, we have a question. There are a ton of hikers here, and it seems like a lot of them have bells attached to themselves, like their bag or shoes or something, but we hear them jingle. Oh, look at this cool car coming by. Hold on. <laughs> I love that. Anyhow, is that to scare away the, the bear, the deers, or tigers, or what, what are the bells for? If you know, please let us know below, because we're wondering about it. We hear them everywhere. It's to scare away American tourists. Maybe it's to scare us away, yeah. <laughs> This town is so cute. There's just all these red things everywhere. The gates and the bridges and, oh, I love it. Saying what you're gonna do at the beginning of a video is always risky because you don't know what you don't know. And we're just walking back trying to find this rock garden and instead we pass a different temple that looks beautiful and like the light is just perfect and the water is still and well we're going to go find the rock garden tomorrow we only have time for one temple today and this one is calling our name so we need to stop here and i guess see what this place is about first change of plans so the gate that you can see just behind me is chuman or the middle gate and it's sort of halfway through koya and although the current one is only seven years old, it's very new, that's why it looks so beautiful and pristine, a gate has actually stood here since Koya was founded. So it still marks the spot. It just is beautiful and brand new. It was uh, 
We are back. So this gate, the one that stood here before this one, burned down in 1843. And they just let it not exist for around 170 years. And then in 2015, it was rebuilt. It's stunning. Uh, it's a nice contrast to the one that we started at, at the west end of town, the Diamond Gate. This one's really cool. And it's quite the complex. So I guess let's go see what else is behind it. So glad that we stopped. I did not know that this was hidden behind the gate and what a cool building this is. Round with a round thingy on top. Oh, it's so cool. I hope that there is an English display somewhere so we can learn more about it. Wow, I'm so glad that we stopped. the most videoed goat in all of Japan right now. <laughs> National Geographic, just call Tales from Our Pocket. We're here to help. Could also be a Japanese Cerro. That was a really cool detour. I'm so glad that we stopped at the temple that we just stumbled across. <laughs> so tomorrow we will go to the rock garden, but we're going to include that in today's video. So don't go anywhere. We are headed back to our temple now where we're having dinner and staying the night and we'll be sure to tell you all about it if we can't film. So stay tuned. if you do come to Koya is to stay in a temple. A lot of people just come to Koya from Osaka as a day trip, but then you're missing out on the peaceful calm of the evening, which we got to experience in the cemetery of all places last night. We only have a few shots from there because it was super dark, but it was really cool just to feel the ambiance and the quietness of the cemetery after hours. And now it is the next morning. We enjoyed a very peaceful sleep last night here at the temple. And actually, let's show you what our room looked like. Our room at the Fudo and Temple is amazing. Although when we first enter it, we couldn't figure out what we'd be sleeping on. There's no bed. <laughs> How cozy does this look? There's a low to the ground table with traditional chairs. And then we have a nice seating area that closes off. The room itself is really nice. It has everything that we need, including a bathroom attached to our room, which we have to show you separately. <laughs> Come on. And a toilet that's ready to go whenever you are. <laughs> we are endlessly amused by this. <laughs> So today, as promised, is rainy out. <laughs> That's okay, we have umbrellas. We still wanna go find the rock garden that is supposedly the largest in Japan, so that is where we're headed to first. If we still have time, we might go down to the cemetery to look at it in the day, because I bet it's a completely different vibe than we experienced last night. But first, we gotta go find that rock garden. Seen a temple in the Koya area also usually includes a few meals. And we had dinner last night, which was delicious. This is our temple dinner. It looks incredible. No idea what's in the black thing. Oh, it's soup. Oh, it's a soup. Oh, that looks delicious. Mushroom and noodle. Bill is so excited right now. Oh, he's braver than me. He just pops it all in instead of taking a bite. <laughs> No idea what anything was. Like, I think I recognized the white rice and that was it. 
We also had breakfast this morning. Both meals were delicious. Again, I had no idea what anything was except the rice this morning. It was an adventure. It was all really good though. It's hard to believe it was all vegetarian. It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> is really cool. It turns out there is a ceremony of some sort that's going on today. A uh, lot of extra guests. Some areas were closed off. We weren't able to enter. We were able to see the rock garden, which was just as peaceful and serene and beautiful as I thought it would be. And we stood there just wondering <laughs> how much planning does it take to do all the lines in the sand without leaving any footprints behind? It's really pretty remarkable. This temple is beautiful. There was no filming in most of it, so you'll just have to come here for yourself and see what it's like. Well, we stopped for a quick break for lunch and now we've come out of the cemetery and we are enjoying a little bit of a break in the rain. <laughs> um, I guess that's good for a cemetery. It's kind of atmospheric, a little bit cloudy out today. The lines on some of the cemetery markers are just beautiful, just so artistic. We ate lunch at UCC Cafe. Now it seems odd to me, but there are a couple of companies listed on headstones here. Nissan Motor Company Limited. Deceased Employee Memorial Monument. There's a whole monument to employees that worked for Nissan that passed away. I've never seen that before. That's kind of really neat, actually. Wow. Business cards or something in there. Send a postcard? What is this for? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. This was possibly a really well-loved dog. I love it. We've turned off of the main area of the cemetery into some trees. We didn't go up here last night. The feeling is completely different. It's a little bit more spooky with all of the trees providing cover and a little bit of darkness, but really neat. Like the middle of a forest. Giant cedar trees. Heather for scale. It's how enormous these old trees are. We think they're cedars. We're not entirely sure. Some of the biggest we've ever seen. I mean, like giant. Just a few more steps and there's even more trees and just moss covering everything. This is the older part of the cemetery. It's beautiful. Super calm, peaceful, quiet except for people who talk to cameras. 
The trees just are massive, so big and beautiful and old. They're between two and 600 years old in this area of the cemetery. Just beautiful. You've got to stop filming everything because we have a bus we have to go catch. <laughs> I mean, we're stopping right after one more shot. One, one, one more. Just... If you're planning to visit Mount Koya from Osaka, quick tip for you. <laughs> Japan has about a million different variations of rail passes that you can get. And one that we found for visiting Mount Koya is a two-day pass, the World Heritage Koya or Koyasan Pass. And it includes transportation from Osaka on the express train all the way to Mount Koya. That includes the trains that you take, the cable car, and unlimited bus rides for the two days that you're at Mount Koya. And then it includes the return trip and even discount to some temples and attractions while you're here. So that's what we did. It's made it really easy and you save a little bit of money. Not a ton, but every, every yen matters. <laughs> if you wanna take the limited express train, which is five to 15 minutes faster, there is an extra charge on top of what you pay for the ticket. So just know that the limited express train from Osaka to Koya costs a little bit more. That's not what we did. We did the regional train, it was perfectly fine. That's what we'll do when we head back to Osaka on our way to Kyoto. So there's a little tip for you, save a little bit of yen, spend it somewhere else while you're in Japan, maybe some souvenirs or some delicious food. And if you like touring Buddhist temples, we've toured a bunch here in Asia and we've put together a playlist just for you. Check it out at the link.